I could have made this video four years ago, but I didn't have a place to work. Now I'm still staying at the place of the French communist, so I'll try to remember what horrific things came to my ears four years ago. I met an old French gardener in the Templars area with many commanderies and even Templars castles in the southeast of France, who let me stay over for a couple of nights. And when he heard me talk about the Templar Masons, Switzerland and the enemy within, he said, listen, I tell you something, but I don't want to get any problems. The gardener had been a shepherd before that for 20 years and never had any children as he was up in the French mountains all the time. So only later in life, he became a gardener doing the gardens of rich people the elite and maintaining the green around castles. And he had been doing the garden of a doctor for many years, who had got rich for treating the elite. And as the elite always needs something new to look better than the rest of humanity, as in Pharaoh's days with uh, Cleopatra writing the first beauty book in history, this doctor got hold of an entirely new procedure making you look and feel 30 years younger and holding three or four months after each treatment. Only problem, it needs living human material for the treatment and new procedure discovered by science. Before I go on, I have to ask you, have you ever thought about how it is possible that uh, Trumpstein, with his 73 years, looks so energetic and smiling, acting and appearing as if he were 30 years younger. Remember what I told you about 30 years younger just before? How come this granddad participates in wrestling matches at his very advanced age? Or has a first lady or first lady you just don't know anymore today that could easily be his granddaughter? saying good night granddaddy before going to bed but instead of that grandpa just jumps the girl how is this possible folks with 73 years or like silvio berlusconi it's italy's former prime minister now 83 who started this granny uh, grandpa humping granddaughter model sort of stuff Exactly around the same time, the new health procedure was invented in 1998 by the American James Thompson. And exactly around the same time this product got invented, Hillary Clinton started to transform from an elderly looking first lady or first lady 20 years ago into a lightning rock star. From the moment on, they had the new vampire procedure ready in 1998. And our masters of Pharaoh's aristocracy have always been doing this. There was the blood countess, Erzbet de Batory, bathing in the blood of virgins to make her skin look young forever. There was Marquis Gilles de Ré and uh, Joan of Arc's first general torturing to death and sodomizing all these young boys. And there was Count Vlad Dracul, son of Dracul, son of the dragon, who drank human blood, and who is an ancestor of Prince Charles of England. And look at what his brother, Prince Philip, Philip is doing today. You can see him here with uh, Jeffrey Epstein, the guy of the island, eh? And of course, Prince Philip is also a, um, he's related to Vlad Dracul. And another picture here of Prince Philip together, the, uh, the descendant of Vlad Dracul together here with um, the guy of the island. Eh? And there's Donald Trump, who can be seen with all these shady perverts. There is no president in the world who's not a Freemason and who is not from this pharaonic aristocratic bloodline. Impossible. So the gardener continued 
saying that the doctor injected his elite patients with a thing called embryonic cells, first time isolated in 1998. Because through analyzing earthly life, these creatures found out that the biggest growth potential in the entire human existence is at three months in the womb, when the growth factor of a growing fetus is showing astonishing growth rates, and high growth rates inhibit the potential to heal or to rejuvenate as the healing process is nothing more than the regrowth of cells and tissues. So at first the scientists used those embryonic cells extracted from a fetus from where, for instance, the liver is, in order to re-inject it into the sick liver attacked by cancer of a cancer patient. But very soon they found out that the best embryonic cells for a human are those extracted from a human. And that having a three monthly a rejuvenating cure for an overall health and fitness stimulating effect and literally feeling reborn with phenomenal sexual appetite and a staggering sexual performance for any rich 70 or 80 year old feeling like a young god again, needing some 18 year old models or even younger than that to ease the horniness. Well, does that sound familiar to y'all? Which one of the two here is the pervert? And which one eliminates satanic baby cell vampires? Take your pick. I remember the exact words of the gardener when the doctor told him that after an injection, it was like sitting in a comfortable armchair. The gardener told me he was just playing the dumb French gardener for his own behalf and that he was flabbergasted that the doctor openly spoke about these crimes. But the gardener had noticed that every time when the doctor had taken his rejuvenating vampire shot, he was like euphoric and almost intoxicated through the elixir of youth and therefore making the mistake of loose lips and his arrogance sort of drunk on puberty, never thinking that far. One day some South African would pass and have a chat with the gardener and then make a video about it four years later. The doctor in his ecstasy told the baffled gardener that at first the elites all went to a clinic in Geneva, Switzerland called La Priori, meaning the Priory, as in the Priory of Sion of the Knights Templars, not very far away from Geneva and feel as strong, as invincible as a Templar, so to speak. And their protocols of the elders of Sion, with an S, as in the Priory of Sion, with an S from the Swiss Templars town of Sion. Automatically, the elders of a Templars order became Freemasons when they got older. And in French, it's called Le Protocole des Sages de Sion, with an S. A Templar spoke French and originated out of the Cistercian orders of Bernard de Clairvaux in Troyes in France, so French being far more precise than English. As in the French word ante Christ with an E and not with an I, for he will come before and is not against Christ at all. The same guy whom the jaywalkers call Moshiach ben Yosef. The doctor went on saying that at a certain moment the demand for the rejuvenating power shots became so great at the end of the 20th century after it was uh, in, uh, separated, isolated in 1998 by James Thompson that the Geneva Gene of Eve, uh, Geneva Gene of Eve, maybe, Clinic La Priore couldn't cope with it anymore, especially concerning the fresh supplies. 
So they had to change the law in Switzerland by mobilizing the pink list killers to go into the streets and demonstrate and make a lot of noise, pretending they represent the entire population in an effort to manipulate the public opinion. With the help of the media liars, of course, who just support everything that's rotten or a fraud. But of course, the real reasons were kept in the dark that the world elite needed more babies and exactly three month old fetuses in a Geneva based clinic with the Templars name in Octogon, the base of the Templars. So in 2001, in an entirely manipulated Swiss referendum, the article 119-120, which you can see here, of the Swiss law got decided and made official in 2002 that any female can just decide on her own without any man being asked to go and kill and abort a new life until a growth of 12 weeks, which is exactly the three months needed for the power shot, using three months old or young embryonic cells. So here it says, it's in German, I'm sorry, you know, of course it's not in English because it's about Switzerland. It says 14 Wochen is weeks. You know, the pink list killers and all that, they wanted 14 weeks. But the the seven heads of state, they put it on 12, 12 Wochen, that means 12, in 2002. And it all started, you know, 1999, just after the um the embryonic cells they were isolated eh? so the political parties and the pink list killers of hell vatica and the various goddesses demanded 14 weeks but the beast with the seven heads of state in parliament who eventually decide the outcome and acceptance of a new law in Switzerland, so there is no real democracy eh? They decided to bring that down from 14 to 12 weeks to slaughter the baby, fetus, product or whatever because the pharaonic aristocratic elite didn't want any human cow coming to the clinic with a bad product inside of a three and a half month old fetus or three and a half month young fetus as only three months or 12 weeks giving the good product and highest cellular growth rate in a human lifespan. Only thus giving the perfect rejuvenating product for millionaires, pop stars, Hollywood stars and politicians of the pharaonic bloodline and their farmed human livestock in every sense you can think of. I know what you're doing, Trumpstein. I'm gonna haul your fat ass on the internet platform, the social platform, for all to see. So this is an official thing here by the Swiss authorities or the Swiss um, seven heads of state, the beast, which you can see here, you know. And um, they say, we have the final say. What I just told you, who's we? Well, they are the seven heads of state. They have the final say, not the people. There is no democracy, forget it. So here it says, in Switzerland, sovereignty, sovereignty resides with the people who exercise supreme political power. So sovereignty, they rule with the people. So there are two things. The, if there's something else than just the people. It's the sovereignty, you know, the um, the beast in the Alps. And it says, who exercise supreme political power. That's why they say, we have the final say. It's all a hoax, people, the, the referendum, the Swiss referendum. It was the same with the Brexit. It took bloody 10 years, or didn't it? You know? And uh, there are many laws in Switzerland, especially the, the latter days, that has been rejected by the, the bees with the seven heads and the ten horns. The ten ministries they divide among each other. That's the hyena, it's the Roman Empire. So, 
I continue my story. The doctor continued, since a Swiss referendum takes a hell of a long time to take place, it took years to have the new, the new Swiss Templar baby kill sock fetus blood law to be effectuated. Other pharmaceutical companies like the Belgian Solve company and children started to disappear in and around Belgium. It needed young flesh and baby machines to get the three months fetus elixir. So the Freemasons Dutroux and Fournieré brought the human cow baby machines to the mother of darkness castle and the castle of Sotu, Satan, where I personally went to in this film here and explaining the Solvay pharmaceutical deep occult ties to Octagon, Switzerland, where the clinic of the Priory of Sion extracts the fetus elixir as being in the medieval dark ages processing alchemy and Baphomet elixir in their octagon Le Refuge Solvay or Le Solvay Refuge. Here you can see the title, just punch it in and have a look. A few days ago on March 7th 2020, Fournieri the guy with the castle torturing, raping and slowly killing children with his Freemason pals admitted he kidnapped the young nine-year-old Estelle Mouzin in 2003, right next to Walt Disney's Children Park in Paris. I think she still might be alive, producing for <coughs> youth elixir for the aristocratic vampires held in the dungeons of some castle, together with other kidnapped girlies, being gotten pregnant, aborted and harvested four times a year for the last 17 years. Probably looking like a 66 year old cow now, instead of her 26 years now. A hey, Donald and your pal Jeffrey Epstein and his island? So, with Dutroux, and Fournieri in prison and 27 witnesses either suicided or accidented, even a judge and a policeman. It needed something nearer to home and away from Europe with too much attention on disappearing children. Well, best would be an island somewhere off the coast of Florida, next to the highly corrupt South America where everything is possible if you have enough money here you can see all the missing women well this is just a, just a little part of them eh oh the virgin islands and oh, what a beautiful name as if it were made for the purpose well i wanted to make a video about the jeffrey epstein affair actually about which i have a lot of intel but i didn't have any place to work well, maybe later sometime, eh? Because this film is about the embryonic cells. So here it says, the Virgin Islands. These are the Virgin Islands and there are more down here. And this is the, the little Saint, Saint James Island here. I don't know why it says Thomas. Little Saint James. And here it is. This is Cuba. And right here's Mexico, eh? All the women disappearing, eh? Look at that, eh? Yeah, and this is Jeffrey Epstein's island here. It says here, Jeffrey Epstein, eh? And mind you, the thousands of women of Ciudad Juarez started to disappear around the same time. The youth elixir got invented using human embryonic cells who got isolated, which got isolated in 1998 here by James Thompson. There you go. And these guys had airplanes calling it the Lolita Express, even sharing them with the Swiss Templar CIA. Think of prior, the Priory Clinic in Geneva and Swiss Crypto Leagues. And no doubt they had seaplanes to exfiltrate from here, from Mexico to the Virgin Islands. 
and even bring the harvested corpses back, saying some crazy Mexican gang butchered them for fun. You know, with the help of the media liars. Well, let me tell you, Mexicans love and protect their women and would never do these satanic Templar CIA Epstein things. It says 1998. Eh? So Jeffrey Epstein bought his island in 1998, the same year the embryonic cells were isolated by James Thompson. And only two years after the Dutroux Mother of Darkness child murders flew up, needing to leave Europe, you can see that 1996, that was only two years um, before um, Epstein bought his island, you know, so they needed to get away. Look here, it says Marc Dutroux in Wikipedia. And here, Bernard Weinstein. Look, it's another Steinsees, like Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein. They are the stone builders, the old pharaohs, or the Erev Rav. So here you can see the, um, the Virgin Islands. And here's the, uh, the, the island of Little St. James here, in between here. This is all, all Templar's territory, folks. So again, it's very important to understand history as always. If you want to understand the Jeffrey Epstein affair and the Knights Templar Island he was on, the US Virgin Islands is Templar territory owned by the Knights Hospitallers, the successors and financial branch of the Templars, who therefore have the same white cross on a red underground as the Swiss flag with islands in the Virgin Islands group and the original names of Saint Martin, here you can see it, Saint Martin. They're all American names now, right? Eh? They're all changed. Saint Barthélemy, yeah. Think of the Huguenots Knight of Saint Bartholomew, Saint, Saint Christophe, the Saint Protector of the Knights Templar, Saint, Christ, Saint Christophe like Sainte Croix and related to my house of Saint Croix Rose du Plessis, yeah, Sainte Croix, which is right next to Jeffrey Epstein. And this too, it's all Templar stuff, right? And Little Saint James, the island of Jeffrey Epstein, where they harvested the youth elixir, about which, in fact, the gardener spoke about long before the Epstein affair, that there was an island. So you can read about it here in the Hospitaller Colonization of the Americas in Wikipedia. It's much longer, of course. So, you know, it's all, it's, it's Satanism. It goes all way back. It's all related to Switzerland and uh, the clinic of La Priore. And um, the doctor told me, or the, uh, the gardener told me about it. It's all related to the night. French king, he was right. They were Satanists. They ruled the world. They're everywhere on all key positions. And uh, why Little St. James, or also called the Lesser St. James. Is there a big one too? Yes, there is. One of the disciples of Jesus who became an apostle in Iberia or Spain after he made his way through the Roman lines in Palestine. Therefore, the today very popular Templar hiking trail from Northern Europe to Santiago de Compostela was made around the grave of the Apostle, the great Saint James, whose ghost, 800 years later, appeared all the time before a big battle during the Reconquista, kicking the Muslim invaders out of Spain. And people had visions seeing him, therefore calling the ghost Little Saint James, or also called the Lesser James. Also because this was 800 years later and the Apostle could possibly still be alive, and who was in fact officially executed by Emperor Herod Agrippa. But well, this is the Middle Ages and you know everything can happen, it's all superstition. 
and probably the Knights Templars. Uh, the guy was dressed in a in a suit of a Knights Templar, you know, to have the people go and fight for them, eh? Like the media whores do all these things today, right? So this hikers trail called the, um, the the Way of Saint James. They also call it simply the Way, and I filmed it for you last year here on this channel and my other channel when when I saw thousands of people marching with backpacks and all that when I was visiting the uh, the Templars castles in Spain, crossing the uh, Camino de Santiago, the way. So you can read some more about it. They have a festival that honor St. James on July the 25th. That's my birthday. Hey. <laughs> and um, yeah, so you see here that the, uh, the Crusaders were not the ones who, uh, who drew blood first. But the, um, the Muslims invaded Europe hundreds of years before. And so you could ask yourself, like, uh, well, they started it, eh? They started it. But it, if you look at all the things going on with Jeffrey Epstein, all related to the Knights Templars, you also have to ask yourself, did the good ones win? So, Little St. James and Resurrection, if you wish, of the Apostle was referred to as the Saint Templar Knight, as the name of Jeffrey Epstein's island related, and even being a real Templar's island. And as the Freemasons come out of the Knights Templars, and all politicians have to be Freemasons by the law, of the new world order horizontal rule it is no surprise at all to see freemason trump together with jeffrey the harvester going to the templars island and again it goes deeper again as the name virgin islands suggests to the goddess of the womb the goddess of the unborn babies Hathor, and who will never get born in this embryonic case. Hathor, the mistress of the skies. Embryonic cells, baby sacrifice, youth elixir, mother of darkness castle, Jeffrey Epstein and his little St. James Muslim Slayer Templar Island. The Clinic La Prieure in Geneva, Switzerland. Bill and Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump, CIA, and Switzerland and their 12 week, three month sacrificial laws. Go to hell, Swizzy. So I guess the Muslims are not as stupid as the white men being dominated by women and pink list killers all over the line. The Muslims want to keep control over the womb. For the womb belongs to the mother, but also to the father, who has an equal right to decide over the unborn and his children, who come out of a woman and a man. Not in the utterly sick white man's world. I'd say the same, or we'll wrap them up, them women. It's the only way to protect the womb from the followers of Hathor. I'm not a Muslim, and I don't want to be one either. But you have to admit, these people have a far more just and honest approach on sharing the womb 50-50 and not 100 women to zero man, as in the fucked up West. Coming back from Hathor and the womb to the embryonic cells and related to that, to those tens of thousands of children and women disappeared in Syria because of the war, and maybe even more. Falsely blaming it on the macho Muslim character and its patriarchy by the lying media whores and their pink list killers. Whereas in fact it was all about organ harvesting and the embryonic youth elixir providing for the worldwide per a pharaonic aristocracy. And their Middle Eastern cousins, the emirs, the caliphs, the sultans, the sheikh and kings. We all have the same problem, folks, no matter your nationality. And he's doing it again. He's doing it everywhere. 
and this in fact is doing the oval or the womb the oval is the womb it's not only the vesica piscis it is the womb it's doing the hathor let's call it like that doing the hathor it's the hand sign of hathor the womb so naturally you know we see this guy together with jeffrey epstein and the rest of them eh? so here we can see hillary clinton also doing the hathor womb probably being completely high at the um, at the youth elixir the three months old uh, em embryonic cells here the hathor so let's team up all together there's no other way to get rid of these highly global, globally organized vampires unless you want your children to become their human livestock for the next harvesting for their alchemy youth elixir.